feedback can be really good. Feedback can also be bad, but what's even worse is no feedback at all. Today, I'm gonna to talk about some simple techniques you can use in your Power Apps to provide that feedback to your end users. So today we're talking about status banner notifications in Power Apps. And if you're new to Power Apps, this may be a new concept to you. Um, it's very simple to use. Uh, there's a notification function that you can actually use inside your Power Apps. Uh, you can introduce it in any of the events in your Power Apps. You can tie it to button clicks and various things like that. But it's designed to provide a uh, basically a positive indicator, a, a status feedback for your end user. Uh, and you can use this in a standard way to give both confidence to your end users that your application is doing what it needs to do and doing what they expect it to do. You can also use it as a way to provide status information for the user so that they can troubleshoot any issues or help you troubleshoot issues with your application. So let's get started. Let's take a look at a really simple Power App uh, and we're gonna add some simple notifications to it and hopefully you can apply this to yours in the future. So Microsoft has given us a really simple method for uh, introducing a standardized notification for our end users so that they can understand the status of an action that they take in your application, whether that be delete a record, save a record, you know, create a new record, uh, that type of thing. So the way that we're gonna do that um, is we're going to jump over uh, to our edit screen uh, in this case. Um, and we're just gonna simply add our first notification to uh, the submit or the save button that's here. Um, so you'll see that in the on select of this particular button or icon, uh, we're submitting the form. Uh, if we want to just add a really simple notification to let the user know that, you know, that we saved the data, um, we can simply add that here by using the notify function. So we enter the message that we would like them to see, and then uh, we can also choose a notification type. All right, so now that we have that in place, um, we can actually go ahead and, and maybe we'll wanna test this and see what it looks like. Um, so we'll go ahead and play this particular application and we can see that, uh, you know, we can make a change maybe to this. And then we'll click our submit, our save button, and we see our nice notification at the top. Um, so this is a pretty standard way that notifications can be served up uh, for end users in Power Apps. Uh, that notification will disappear or fade away after a few seconds, um, but it's really handy. The user can see that their action actually took place and did something. So that's all well and good. Um, I showed you uh, that method uh, so that you kind of understand you can attach that notification to any event that the user takes. So maybe they're deleting a record, uh, maybe they're clicking a button that's going to activate a, a power automate flow or something like that, um, and you want to communicate status. Uh, that's a really good way to do it. But there is a better way to do that. Um, and that is to actually, uh, in the case that you're submitting a form, um, you don't want to just blindly communicate status to the end user. You want to be a little bit intelligent about it. Um, and so in order to do that, um, we can use the on failure and on success events of a particular form. Uh, so rather than having it on this particular button um, as something that we're going to do, um, we can pull it from there. Um, and then we can select our form, for example. Um, and we can actually ap apply it to the on success or and on failure of this particular form. So in this case, I've selected the form. We're gonna jump over here and we're gonna look at our on failure uh, notification. And so in the scenario that it fails, uh, we wanna notify the user of status. Um, and we're gonna say, instead of that, we're gonna say error saving data, please contact your power apps administrator. A little message, and then again, instead of a success message, we're gonna do error. Now, depending on uh, the type of message that you're doing, you can use error, informational, uh, or success. In this case, it's a failure, so we're gonna use an error. Um, and then we're gonna also change our message in the on success event. Um, and so this navigates the user back to the previous form. Um, so we're gonna add to this uh, our notification. Uh, this time that the form was saved successfully um, and then show that success message. So that's how we might do that. Now let's jump over to our new form. 
uh, for example. Um, and in this particular case, we have a really good scenario where we can demonstrate that error functionality. Uh, so in the case that the form isn't valid, for example, we might want to let the user know, give them an informational message, uh, letting them know that it's not valid. Um, and we would basically do the same thing. So on success and on failure of the form. Uh, so we'll go with our on failure. Um, and in this case, we're simply going to say, if new form one dot valid or uh, you also get whenever you have a failure uh, of a submit form, you uh, could potentially get back error message. Uh, and that would come back in the form of an error kind uh, equals validation, then we're going to notify the user of a form validation error. And we'll make this one informational. Else we're gonna notify of just a more generic error. should do that. And then we'll jump over to our on success. So I'll expand this just a little bit more so you can see what's going on there. Before we jump over, we'll jump over to on success now. Uh, and in this case, we simply want to notify them of success. Our success type. And now we should be all set uh, so we can actually see this in action. So if we jump back out to our browse screen as our starting point um, and we play this, we can uh, really easily see what this is gonna look like for the end user. So let's go ahead and add a new one. Um, and let's say the user you know, input their model number and their serial number, but they forgot to give it that required title. Uh, that basically means the form is not valid. So in the case that they do this, um, so they're getting the error message um, they're also getting the message that the title is not set. Uh, so we can go ahead and specify that. And we'll go ahead and finish filling out the form. Sure, it's under warranty. And I'll give it my name. And now this time when we save this, it actually was saved, it took me back, and it communicated that status to the end user. So this is a really good thing, um, you know, instead of the user being navigated back to that uh, main screen, gallery screen, and not knowing re really what happened, um, they can actually have this status communicated with them. I strongly encourage you to use this method as it's fairly standard um, and get used to using it across all of your Power Apps, and then your users will have that consistent experience. If you're interested in more Power Apps content like this, we have some additional videos on our channel. Be sure to go check those out. Uh, subscribe to our channel so that you can get up to date on that content. That's what we have for today. We really hope you enjoyed this content and we'll see you next time.